So hi everyone and welcome to this video on proving that the ridge regression estimator is consistent. So we're given here with the ridge regression estimator uh, in this particular form, which is here standard in any textbook that you may have. So what we're basically going to say is that as the sample size approaches infinity, the difference between this estimator and its true value approaches to zero. So we'll start with our proof. Okay, so uh, we're going to start off by uh, just basically plugging in a value for this y sub i. So y sub i is, e uh, sorry, y sub i is equal to x i prime beta plus e sub i. Then uh, we can rewrite it as beta hat equal to sum i is equal to 1 to m x i x i prime plus lambda i k inverse times sum i is equal to 1 to m x i times x i prime beta plus e i. Then we can simplify this side of the equation. Okay, i equals 1 to n x i x i prime plus lambda i k inverse. Then we just distribute this to that. Okay, so we get sum i is equal to 1 to n x i x i prime beta plus sum i is equal to 1 to n x i e i. Okay, so from here we're going to do a slight manipulation. So we're going to multiply this by n and this one by 1 over n, right? So we're effectively multiplying one side by one, which doesn't change anything. So we're going to um, move this inside. So because there's an inverse here to move this inside, we do 1 over n, sum i is equal to 1 to n, xi, xi prime, plus lambda over n, i k inverse. Then the one over n here, you distribute to both sides. You do one over n, sum i is equal to one to n, x i, x i prime, beta, plus one over n, sum i is equal to one to n, x i, e i. Okay. Then uh, again, from here, okay, we're gonna try to appeal to a couple of facts that we know. So we know that one over n, okay, so no, Okay. 1 over n, sum i is equal to 1 to n, x i, x i prime, converges in probability to q, uh, q x x. So we know that this is our estimate for q hat x x. Then it converges in probability to q x x as n approaches infinity. Right? Then we also know that 1 over n, sum i is equal to 1 to n, x sub i e i converges in probability to the expected value of x e, which we know is equal to zero as uh, n approaches infinity. Okay, So uh, we're basically uh, going to be left with uh, just one more term with an n. So that's lambda over n i k. All of those things are determined. If n goes to infinity, clearly, of course, this term will go to zero because lambda is some fixed value. So it will converge uh, in probability to zero, which would mean that it would be equal to uh, small o p1. Okay? Uh, sorry, small o1, rather, because it's all known, small o1. Then we can rewrite everything, this first one as just the qxx, plus this one is o1, okay, inverse, okay. The first term there is going to be a qxx beta plus the last term here is going to be a small op1, right? So we're going to have that one there. Okay, and again, this term here will tend to zero. So that's just qxx inverse times qxx beta, right? Plus qxx inverse times op1, small op1, you know. Uh, and uh, we know, okay, from here, uh, clearly these two will cancel out, so we're left with beta. Then this term here is big op1. This one is small op1. And we're going to be left with beta plus big op1 times small op1. The small op1 will triumph. 
So we have small op1. So this is beta hat. And clearly, this is our conjecture for a consistent estimator. So beta hat, which is the ridge uh, regression estimator, is a consistent is a consistent estimator of beta. And that ends our proof. So thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.